It's been about three weeks since I've recorded a video, but I am finally back and I have some good news I have been unbanned from Rocket League as you can see uh, I did buy the premium rocket pass I literally bought it today and uh, It looks really good. It looks exciting It's a shame I missed you know making videos and stuff like that, but I want to talk about the unban on Rocket League I'll play some let's play some doubles I guess I want to talk about basically the whole situation what this unban means what this means for my sponsorship what this means for the for my channel and uh, everything like that whilst I play some games so um, yeah if you're excited that I'm back because like I said it's been a long time since I've actually made a video a lot of people didn't understand that I was pre-recording videos even though I said that in videos so yeah leave a like um, just you know help support the channel and stuff like that I've got some things I want to talk about um, some things that I want to ask you so please get ready to write your comments because there's a lot going on Yes. First of all, I just want to start by saying uh, my holiday in Tenerife was literally the best two weeks of my life. And the fact that I'm back is... is um, I'm excited to make videos and get back into that. But it's kind of depressing, you know, going from such a nice, lovely place to just kind of going back to the, the dreary weather of where I live. So, uh... Could be better in that regard. A few people on my video where I said I got permanently banned in Rocket League assumed that I was salty and stuff like that. And they commented saying, well, what did you expect? You broke the rules. You shouldn't be, you know, you should stop crying and stuff like that. Um, this was clearly, okay, this is good. Uh, this was clearly people that didn't actually watch the entire video because I literally said in the video, my main point was that I deserve the ban for the sponsorship. What I didn't deserve was uh, Rocket League to attack my channel and stuff like that. that. That kind of annoyed me because all you had to do was watch the video to know that that's not how I felt about the situation. Hey, I guess he just didn't fancy that one then. The thing I didn't like was that they were trying to take down my YouTube videos because of a trademark complaint, but that implied that I said that Logan Rocket League were affiliated, which I never did, so their trademark complaint was invalid. Uh, and in terms of sponsorship and stuff, um, could I do what I've done before and do Logan sponsored videos with gift cards and stuff like that instead of Rocket League items? And the answer is yes, um, I think, but I don't know. I mean, there are loads of YouTubers that are still doing Rocket League items, and it's clear that Rocket League, you know, they, they don't really, like, care it as much about actually stopping people doing it. They just wanted me to stop doing it because, you know, uh, if they really cared, they would have kept me banned because a permanent ban is permanent. As it said in-game, this ban, ban is permanent. But they didn't do that. They just wanted me to remove Logger references in recent videos and descriptions. Um, and there we go. 2-1. I, I guess I'll, I'll take that. What is going on? What is going on with Rocket League? Because if I expressly say in my videos that Logo is not affiliated with any of the games that I'm playing, Rocket League cannot trademark claim me on YouTube, so my YouTube channel will be safe. And if I don't mention Rocket League items at all and just reference their gift card section and that's it, and say that they're supporting the channel, Rocket League cannot ban me on Rocket League. And I said this to Rocket League. I said it would be unfair to stop me from doing sponsorships with Logo to do with gift cards. And if I expressly say that Logo and whatever game in the video I'm playing are not affiliated, and Rocket League haven't responded, which suggests to me they kind of know that. They know that they don't have a place to stand. So I might start doing Logger gift card sponsored videos. That's one of the ways I could go, which I've done before. Um, a little bit annoying because obviously Logger would prefer me to do the Rocket League stuff, but I can't do that even though other people are. I, I can't because Rocket League are spying on me, basically. Another thing I could do is just do more GameLink sponsored videos, and um, possibly there's another sponsorship coming up in the future, which I could do. And a lot of you might be wondering why you're trying so hard to sponsor your content and stuff. And honestly, um, ad revenue isn't one. It's not reliable. But also, the sponsorships are where I got most of my money from. Um, so to kind of have that taken away from just me and no one else is kind of... Um, it makes sense, as I said, because it is against the rules, but it's just frustrating that it's me and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, another thing that I was discussing uh, with my girlfriend, Gina, was um, the possibility, I've thought of doing this before, um, of starting a Patreon. Now, hear me out, because this sounds like money grabby and all that, um, but hear me out, as I said. Uh, without um, a Rocket League sponsorship, I would not be able to afford the videos I make. Um... You know, I spent $3,000 on the Golden Egg livestream. Without Logar, I wouldn't even get close to paying that off. Um, you know, that sort of thing. I would not be able to fund the amount of uh, creative things that I do and stuff like that. Uh, because it just wouldn't make any profit and I wouldn't, you know, be able to survive in the long run. So, um, I was thinking I could maybe start a Patreon to help fund my videos and give you different perks. Obviously, on Patreon, you get perks. Uh, that was my bad, but no problem. Yeah, I thought I could start that up and then, you know, maybe do Patreon-only tournaments, uh, weekly. I could do Patreon blind trading, at you know, as, as sometimes I could do a monthly Patreon only giveaway and I could, you know, do maybe, um, maybe monthly Patreon streams, that sort of thing. So let me know what you think about 
the idea of starting a Patreon. Like, it's not to make mad profit on. Obviously, if, like, a million people donated a dollar to me on Patreon, that would be <laughs> that would be pure profit. But, obviously, that's not going to happen. Um, but, yeah, without... If I, if I don't continue the longer sponsorship with gift cards or anything like that, I won't be able to do as many uh, creative winning videos and stuff like that because I won't be able to afford it. Um, so, that's another option, is uh, which is a Patreon. Uh, but again, I have another option after that, and that is, um, you know, not really worry about sponsorship and just try and, um, I want to, you know, I was thinking while I was on holiday about the videos I was making, I'm thinking, you know what, I, I think I can do better, I think I can make better videos, I'm not entirely sure what I want to make or how I want to make them, do I want to do ranked Rocket League, do I want to do crate openings and stuff like that, uh, or do I want to do more maybe gameplay style commentaries, um, stuff like that. And uh, honestly, I haven't decided. I don't know what content I'm going to make. I want to make more Fortnite content, but I want to make it good. It's hard because if it's a if it's like a relevant Fortnite video, like about an update or like a challenge or something, it will get a lot of views. Um, but if it's gameplay, it tends to get a lot less, and uh, which I understand. But there's some people they just they say in the comments, just quit Rocket League, bro. Go to Fortnite. Look at your most popular videos. They're all Fortnite. And whilst that is true. Um, that's not, you know, the norm for every Fortnite video I'd make. You know, that's not expected. In some ways, it would be quite freeing to make videos. I suppose I could, you know, still make the odd Game Link sponsor video here and stuff like that. But to not have a sponsor that requires so many uploads like Logar, because I had an agreement to do at one point 20 videos a month uh, for them. And then it got to the point where I could do as many as I wanted, even if that was more than 20 and get paid per upload. Um, it would be kind of freeing to be able to make videos whenever I wanted, uh, you know, and whatever I wanted without having to worry about, you know, making money and stuff. This guy, he can't, he, he, he can't catch a break, this teammate. Tell me how to get lucky, Yoki. I wasn't really lucky, it's just a... I don't know, it's a decent dunk, I suppose. So yeah, it didn't take long for me to get unbanned, and although it was permanent, um, it wasn't really. They just they just wanted me to do what they wanted, which is kind of, again, I said it in the other video about the ban. In the unban as well, it's kind of sneaky that they'll, they'll, they can choose which rules are theirs to enforce, you know? And they can break their own rules as they wish. They permanently banned me, but because I'm doing what they want, they're breaking their rules and unbanning me. Like... Technically speaking, I should I shouldn't be unbanned. So it's kind of dodgy. Like, where's the where's the? I'm grateful that I'm unbanned, I suppose. But you know, they they're manipulating which rules of theirs they decide to follow. I don't know. They could say, you know, a lot of people could argue, you know, they're doing me a favor. I shouldn't say that, but it, it is what it is. That is true. They're just they're choosing which of their own rules to to enforce. But I'm grateful that I'm unbanned, so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> this video has been a bit of a mess. I can feel it in my, like, in the way I'm speaking and what I'm speaking about. I just feel like it hasn't been fluid. The gameplay's been absolutely dreadful because, you know, pure rust. Like, look at that. Look at that. I'm missing easy hits. But, you know, it's fine. You guys don't watch for the high quality gameplay. You, you watch for me, I think. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit, like, I was a little bit worried when the whole sponsorship thing happened and the whole the ban thing happened because I was like, how am I going to sustain this channel? Because... Uh, it's no, it's no secret. My channel is not doing as well as it once was. Take the shot, lad. That's a nice little play. I like that. That's some solace from the video. Um, yeah, my channel's not doing as well as it once was, and it, it could be doing better. I've since coming back from holiday, I've now got more time to work on YouTube. You know, Monday to Friday, I can work on YouTube videos. Uh, before that, I was kind of doing YouTube like two or three days a week tops. Even though you may have seen like quite a few uploads, I wasn't actually making YouTube videos for the majority of the time, and I was kind of just enjoying my summer as a bit of like a, almost like a summer holidays type thing, but now I'm back, I'm ready to go, this video's been pretty terrible, uh, but it's just been me getting back into the swing of things, because it has been a few weeks, and it does feel very strange to do this, it's just, okay, so there we go, we've, uh, we've won one, lost one, we've actually only scored two goals in this video, oh, uh, yep, two goals in this video, just making sure that I, uh, keep that. Nice and toxic from uh, TJ there. Uh, but yeah, either way, um, I'm not going to keep you. Uh, I just wanted to update you. I did get unbanned. I don't know what to do in regards to a sponsorship. You'll probably see gaming videos coming up. Maybe some other ones. Maybe some logo gift card ones because there is no way Rocket League can ban me for doing a logo gift card video on Rocket League because it's not breaking Rocket League terms of service. And they can't attack my YouTube because uh, they can't, there's no trademark complaint there to be had. So I could do that. I could might start a Patreon. I want to hear your guys' opinion in the comments down below. Uh, and also, I'm, I'm thinking of changing up the videos, you know, editing them a lot more. Often I would play two games of Rocket League sort of like this and edit them, like, not at all. This one I edited a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm coming up with different ideas. I've got a really good Fortnite video idea that I want to try. Uh, and hopefully it gets the recognition I feel like it deserves. But either way, that's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like on it. Check out the sponsors in the description. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. Thank you for all the nice comments while I was away and stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.